Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of Empty Soul. When we left off, I literally had no idea what I should be doing, but I actually ex explored a little bit more um, before I filmed this episode, like I said I would, and I came across um, a little area like right around here. Right here, Whitechapel Street. I didn't even know this was a location you could go, but I'm hoping it'll give me something different because I came here and I saw the shiny over there in the corner. Um, and then also, I saw that that person <laughs> over there. I have no idea what they want or what, what he's going to do. Close by building collapse. Okay. See, there's a freaking sewer opening here, but I can't, I can't get to it. So, I'm not 100% sure what I need to do, but I guess we'll talk to this person. Cross. Good evening, Solan. Who are you? How do you know my name? My name is Cross. I'm a time traveler. I know everything. Oh, really? How come every game I play seems to have time travel in it now? What? I travel between dimensions and worlds with the ultimate power of Mozart. Mo... what? It's something beyond your limited imagination. <laughs> Not as good as reading Steiner. Okay, cool. Whatever. More crazy people around. So, what are you doing here? It's none of your business. Okay, well then, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Jeez. Okay. Can I go? Nope. Hmm. Or maybe you can be useful. Useful? I'll give you a reward if you can bring some items I need. What kind of items? Easy, young girl. I'll ask the only one item. I'll ask you only one item at a time. You go find it and bring it back to me. I'll reward you. Huh? Why do you need those items, and why can't you get them yourself? My mere existence in this world is forbidden. It means I can't get involved with anything physical in this world, or it'll change the story. Before you think you know everything, I'm interacting with you because you're not affecting the story. How do you know that? What? I don't get a single thing. I wasn't expecting you to do it. The first thing I need is... I never said I would help you. <laughs> As you wish. Oh! I mean, we should help him, right? I mean, there's nothing else I can think of doing at all. Whitechapel Street, okay. Everything else is closed off and I've been wandering way too long. Have you changed your mind? Sure. Good, let's start with something easy. Number seven. Seven? The first thing I need is a memento from the past. Bring it to me and I'll reward you. A memento from the past? Di it's a diary. I mean... That's a memento, right? There? No? He won't take it. I wonder what he wants. A memento. This freaking picture again. Okay. Well. I guess it didn't go as far as I thought it was gonna. A memento from the past? What do you want? I guess I go to, go to Central Park, maybe. The news? No? I mean, it sounds like it's a memento for a past. From the past. No? Okay, well, 
I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing then. There's a sign here. Warning, don't access sewers, we're doing maintenance. But I, I wanna. So this is the entrance to the sewers. No choice. Uh, yay! Yay! Progress! I don't even care about your stupid memento from the past anymore. I can go places. Um, well, I thought I could. <laughs> I mean, apparently there's just some mysteries that you can't solve, and if there's something crazy super important, then I'll come back and do it. But it's insane, but I'll do it. Back into the darkness. Oh, this sounds lovely. This sounds lovely. That's some money. Okay. Oh yes, I love it when children laugh in the sewers. It's probably my favorite. Uh. Okay, I got some things that are moving here. Rats, maybe? I don't know where I need to be or what I should be doing. Let's go up. Oh, the sewer is huge. At least I have the flashlight, though. That's good. If I didn't have that, I'd be in some really big trouble, actually. Um, okay. Ha 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 ha. Whatever, children. Um. I don't know where I'm going at all. Looks like I'm getting to places though. Ooh, shiny. There are some notes lying here. Will you read them? Yeah. Diary of a Scientist, Day 1. Today was my first day at Harper Corps. I was very excited because I could finally make it. People are nice, and I like the environment so far. This I would get used to it quickly. I'm very happy after all those years of hard studying. The salary isn't bad either. I think I'll move to my house in a couple of months. I'm nervous. I'll tell my family. They'll be so proud of me. Can I combine these? Uh, no, never mind. What's this? It's a hole passing this gate. Strange sounds come from the other side, like someone's crying. I can't pass. I need to find something to open this. Maybe I have uh, something to cut this in my garage. Your garage? Do you know how far away we are? <sighs> See, and yet you don't want to take stuff with you. You're like, oh, I don't need these items. Um. No, thank you. Ooh, shiny. $30. Okay. I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going a different way than I was. Which might be good or bad. Um, okay. I think we want to head this way. I really don't want to go all the way back. What's this? What's this? It's like a hammer or an axe. Can we not take that? That's stupid. Uh, I got some red paint here. I mean, I don't think there's red paint on all of these walls. If you think I'm going to buy into that, then you're just silly. Um, need to find a way out of here. Up we go. I feel like I'm just looping in a circle. Yep, I'm back where I was. Okay, I need to find a way out of here. Seriously. Maybe I need to backtrack the way I was going. <sighs> okay. Not sure if I'm going to find anything or run into anyone, but I'd rather not, to be super honest. I don't even know how I found that place. Because this sewer is gigantic. Okay, there's the... There's the hammer one, which I can only go up here. 
I don't think I want to go up. Crap, I'm lost. Oh, this looks different. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it looks different. Yep, there's a shiny. And it says repent on the wall, so that's good. Oh, door? It's completely broken. Yeah, so is my spirit. I need to find a way out. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's the ladder to freedom. Okay, good. Yes, I want to go up. Of course I want to go up. Whew. Alrighty. So now I can go back to my house, go to the garage, get whatever item they think that we're going to need. And then we can cut down or get out of here or whatever. And maybe there's a gaming system in my house. I don't know. This house is gigantic. There's a lot of things that could be in here. But I think... Yeah, here's a gaming system. Can we take this one? My sister's video game. She plays every day. I don't know how she doesn't get tired. Me? Play? Ha! I'm too old for these games. Besides, I'm really bad at them now. But who knows? Maybe I'll try them one of these days. Did we? Are we taking them? Um, let's see. Grand Speed Pre. Racing? Nah, I prefer to drive my car instead. Scientific journals. Okay, I don't. It's whatever. Apparently, we're not going to get video games. Sorry, buddy. I tried. I really did. Okay, so what's in here? The toolbox thing? Here we go. I have some tools here. Maybe I can find something to open that gate. Got it. This will help. I feel like we should take more than just that, though. Can I drive yet? Please? Why don't you need to use your car? Who prefers to walk instead of driving? Nobody. Nobody does. I mean, if I could get somewhere by driving, I'm going to drive. That's just how it works. It looks really dark in here. Okay, at least progress has been made. So now i got to go back into the freaking sewers. Yay. Oh, that didn't take as long to get back as I thought it would. Alright, let's try snipping this gate. There's a big hole passing this gate. I know. Strange sounds coming from the other side like someone crying. I know. I can try to open this with the thin snips I have. Uh, if I don't use them now, then there's really no point. Because, I mean, I went through all that trouble. Phew, finally. Anybody home? This looks very weird. What is this place? It looks like some kind of laboratory. Oh, that face. This place looks familiar. I've been here. Uh, like that dream? What's this? Someone left an SD card on the floor. Experiments? I wonder what this is all about. I don't want to know. To be very, very honest with you. Computer's still working. There's something on the screen, like a report. Okay. Day one, the subject does not show any sign of degradation. Uh, consider increase in dose. Day five, subject begins to show some signs of de degradation. <laughs> Mental status of the patient starts to deteriorate. Day 15, following superior agreement, Dr. Walls is not now in charge of the test. Dr. Walls? Uh, okay. I, I, don't, I don't need to read it again, sorry. I'm good. I'm good. Dr. Walls got it. Make a, make a note of it. Make a memo of it. Don't know what that is. A little computer over here. No. This is a fingerprint sensor. I'll try with my finger. Reading data. Access granted. Access granted. Analyzing data. Um. Can we analyze a little bit faster? Comparing with database. Can, can we analyze just a little bit faster? It's a finger. It's a freaking fingerprint. Error. Fingerprints do not match. Percent of similarity, 80%. It doesn't work, but I was close. I wonder how who has fingerprints so similar to mine. Relative? Doors closed and why is it covered with blood? 
I don't want to know. I really don't. Is that all I can do here? I have to go back? I don't want to go back. Something's gonna... Yep, something's gonna happen. Another text message. Seems like you're late. Meet me at the hotel. I have a big surprise for you. The Novi Meadow Hotel? What's all this about? I don't know, but hopefully we don't die before we find out. So I need to go to the hotel, huh? <sighs> Here we go. Finally the exit. I've been wandering for I don't even know how long. Good lord, I got lost in the sewers. So we need to go to the hotel. So, I guess we're gonna leave dude all by himself, Mr. Time Traveler. Yeah, just don't buy into it, you know? I need a little bit more hard proof. Like, you need to predict a couple things for me or something like that, so I know that you're not just bluffing. Uh, okay, so the hotel. Let's go to the hotel. We'll see who wants to meet us, and then maybe we can... Hi! Ugh, where the hell is he? It's almost the same thing with him. It's cold, and I'm all wet here. Eight years married, and he doesn't learn. Excuse me? Oh, wait. So... Yes, may I help you? I could ask the same question. Me? <laughs> nah, I'm just waiting for a stupid person. Well, you're already here. I could enter the hotel, but I really? You're still worried about the whole reservation thing. What the crap? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for my husband. He's being so unpunctual. Said you'd go and get stuff and you forgot at home, then you'd come and meet me here. Ugh, but look at the hour and my hair. Ugh, I'm gonna kill Shane. Okay. Who are you? Oh, sorry, how rude of me. I never introduced myself. Sandy. My name is Sandy, I'm a journalist. Nice to meet you, Sandy. My name is Solon. I'm a scientist. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, okay. Strange? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, demons. I just... Have you seen someone, like, weird around here tonight? Weird? No, I don't think so. Maybe I wasn't paying attention while I was waiting. I see. Thanks anyway. Uh, help you? Do you need help? I could call your husband from my phone. Oh, no, no, no. Please, don't mind me. You came for a reason and I'm just here holding you back, so please. Oh, don't worry about me. I was supposed to meet someone here, but... Ha! <laughs> Another lazy guy. I would like to know. What? A blind date? You are a tough girl. What? No, no. It's not what you think. OMG! Two guys? Sandy, what is wrong with you? Uh-huh. I should go home. I think no one's gonna come. Wait, you need to... I need to what? You don't just go you need to mid-sentence and then freaking turn around. Anyways, I think I'll uh, wait here until the stupid Shane arrives. Did I miss something? She said you need to and then turned around, right? Um... Okay, that was weird. I guess we can go home. Sure. Uh, what a waste of time. I'm all wet and cold. Brr. Oh, I almost forgot the food. It should be cold like death now. Yeah, but we're going to save first. I wonder how my sister's doing. She hasn't called me back. Okay, I'll call her. I want to save! We're right in front of the save spot. If we get teleported to a demon world, and I don't get to save, it's all your fault, Solon. 
She's not answering. She's busy. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Again? It can't be. No, I'm calling again. No, no, we're saving. Saving. My sister's voicemail. Hello? This is Sinaj. I'm not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. I'll call you right away. Sinaj? What? Sinaj? I remember. That name. Wait. Shane? That... That Shane? Could it be? SNS Research. The accident. Uh... Ah, uh, my head. It's gonna... I just wanted to save. It's literally all I wanted to do. It's not over yet. Okay. But I, I just wanted to save. Oh, thank you. You're gonna let me save now. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Well? Where are we? Oh, yay. Oh, yay. <sighs> well, it looks like we're in a brand new demon world. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here because I'm pretty sure my heart can't take any more jump scares or anything like that that's going to happen because this looks like it's going to be jump scary. But thank you guys so much for watching as well as your support. This game is pretty fun to play and I'm very curious to see where chapter 2 goes as well as chapter 3. Uh, chapter 4 is not out yet but we'll get as far as we can and then we will continue on from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. If you don't have a face. There's somebody in front of that window. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. Is that a girl? Could she be? Sinaj. Sinaj? Oh, me no likey. No, it's... Mm -hmm. I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs>